Welcome back to the channel, you guys. I hope you are having a good, are we recording? Yes, we are. <laughs> All right, so welcome back to the channel, you guys. I hope you guys are having another good day. Thank you for checking it out. Uh, real quick, smash the thumbs up button because you're gonna love this video. I'm going to be going over every single little thing that is done to my third gen mega cab. It's been a long time, it's long overdue. A lot has changed since the last time I made one of these videos, so I feel like this is the perfect time to make this video and talk about everything I've done, okay? So enjoy, you guys. Man, 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 <clears throat> where do I start? Well, I guess we can start in the front and uh, work our way around, okay? Now, I won't do the engine yet, but I will start in the front. So here in the front, get that out the way. <sighs> Gotta keep it PG for the children. So starting in the front, we got a custom made uh, third gen grill by my buddy Ryan over at Steel Tooth Fab. Uh, this is just a custom third gen grill he made for me. Uh, it says everything diesel on it. Uh, down below, we got the 42 inch curved ox beam light bar. I've had this on for about two and a half, almost three years now, still works fine. Does what I need it to do. Come down below. Ooh, got a lot down here. All right, so what we're looking at here, first things first is the track bar. That is a core four x four track bar adjustable that I put on back in, uh, I wanna say May, when I did the 10 and a half inch lift kit. Uh, excellent track bar, super high quality, have no issues with it. Got it off eBay, it was about $310. Uh, works phenomenal, no issues. In front of that, we got for steering setup, we have the uh, Moog Problem Solver 4th Gen style steering. Works really good, I'm a big fan of it. Uh, after coming back from Heim joints, I, if you're gonna ask why did I take the Heims off, I got a whole video separate dedicated to that. Uh, now, this guy here, the steering stabilizers. Finally, 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 we have the steering stabilizer brackets in now. Uh, they're in the house. I'm gonna be probably putting those on this weekend, so stand by for a video on that. But we have some Bilstein 5100 uh, dual steering stabilizers. I know they, they look horrible. We're gonna get it fixed this weekend, guarantee you. So behind that, we got the PPE front diff cover. PPE is big, 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 big supporter of the channel, and uh, also they're awesome people to work with. So we have the front uh, diff cover, and then we also have a rear diff cover. Okay, now you guys probably cannot see it if I can get up in here, but we have a redhead steering box. It's uh, phenomenal. I love it. It does what it's supposed to do. Now, if you're looking here as well, we also have the BD steering stabilizer or steering brace for the gearbox. Excellent, excellent product. Haven't had any issues from it. I'm actually going to be greasing it here soon when I grease all my joints and stuff, okay? Other than that down here, that's really it up front. Nothing crazy. So then we will come out to the side. Ooh, we got a lot now. Okay, so first things first is going to be the wheel setup. So the wheel setup is a 24 by 14 Fuel Forge FF05 uh, custom forge wheels. I specifically had them ordered for my truck. Uh, wrapped up with some Nitto Trail Grapplers, 40 by 15 and a half R24s. Excellent, excellent tires. Good, I, I really like them. <laughs> They're really good. Uh, and they go well with these wheels too, you guys. I love it. For suspension, we have the, uh, up to this day, we still don't have a name for the suspension. I, I'm, I'm sorry, you guys. It's just, I pieced it together. I built, you know, pretty much custom pieced it and built it up. So it is a eight inch lift kit with a two and a half inch spacer on top. So it's gonna front sit in roughly at about 10 and a half inches. For shocks, we have Fox 2.0s, just regular old mono tubes, uh, but they work excellent. I love them, no issues out of them. For sway bar setup, we're rocking a RI Fab steering uh, sway bar setup with custom adjustable links. I know my, my paint job is, I gotta repaint that. But uh, custom links, adjustable, works really good put brand new sway bar bushings in when I installed it works really good it takes a lot of the body roll out of these big trucks uh, these these trucks man especially the mega cabs they have ton a ton of body roll so that steering or the sway bar setup actually works really good I'm a big fan of it uh, now one thing I did want to hit on if you guys look down there where the bottom of the shock connects to that's actually a shock extender okay that is just a basic aluminum uh shock extender two inch shock extender off of ebay reason why is because these shocks are eight inch shocks but because i added this two and a half inch spacer i still wanted to maintain that full uh travel play within the shock so i added the extender so that way 
the shock is pretty much sitting in its natural eight inch lift position, even though it's sitting at about 10 and a half inches right now. We come back here for, we got custom made long arms from uh, RFAB, adjustable, weld on to the frame for the lower arms. They work uh, real good, real good. I like them because it gives the axle that full articulation, man. I'm telling you guys, coming from control stock control arms to adjustable long arms is a world difference. I mean, your axle can actually do what it's intended to do. It's not it's not stricken by, you know, little baby control arms, okay? If you come over and if we're looking at the side of the truck, you notice that it's pretty much debadge slash rebadge. So when I bought this truck, it did have the chrome door uh, trim on there. Took that junk off. Also debadged the chrome Cummins badge emblem, swapped it out with a black Cummins badge emblem, uh, got off eBay, just peel off, stick it, and done. Over here we got Fortune style tow mirrors. These are just basic eBay, Amazon, Fortune tow mirrors. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy about them. I did have them professionally color matched though. They're doing really good since I've had them. I've got this done probably about two and a half years ago as well. Uh, no issues, no complaints out of them, super solid. And they're actually, they're lasting a lot longer than I thought they would last. So up top, it might be hard to see, but we got uh, Amazon smoke cab lights. I actually, this truck did not come with cab lights when I bought it. I actually made my buddy uh, Kyle drilled holes into my roof to we, so we can run cab lights. Uh, no leakage, all the lights work fine, excellent, no issues, okay? For headlights, we have a, uh, they're called Spec D tuning, pretty much eBay headlights. Uh, Spec D tuning with LED uh, low beams in here from Last Fit. So we got the LED Last Fit low beams in conjunction with switchbacks from Last Fit as well. They both work excellent. Good light output. I, I'm a big fan and supporter of Last Fit. Uh, affordable and still high quality. So Last Fit, check them out if you're looking for LED lights, okay? As we continue, we come over here and we have, uh-oh, pop thing. We have an AirDog 165 GPH AirDog 2 4G lift pump. I gotta fix those wires, don't worry about that. But uh, I've been rocking the AirDog shoes probably since like almost since I started the YouTube channel. Uh, big supporter of them, big fan of the AirDog team. They've taken care of me so well, you guys don't even understand it, man. I know people get into the debates about AirDog versus Fast. I'm telling you right now, from my experience, you cannot go wrong with AirDog. Next thing, just because they happen to pop out. We got amp power steps, works awesome. This is another one, uh, a lot of people always ask me about, oh, why didn't you go with the RBP ones? And uh, truth be told, these work good. I, I don't have a problem with it. Uh, one thing with the RBP ones that I'm not a fan of is they have, in order for their doors to open and close, they put like a little magnet right here somewhere. And when the magnet, it, the delay is, is, it has more of a delay versus the amp steps. With the amp steps, I close the door, and right there, it's up. Takes no time. I like them, big fan of them. Motors work fine. I've had them on the truck for a year now, no issues. In the back, we have RFAB long arm, or long arms track bars. Uh, these are like super old in terms of like what he's had. Uh, I actually bought these off of his personal truck like long time ago, but I just finally got to install them this year. Works great, does what tracks bars are supposed to do to prevent that axle wrap. Right there, got a Beans diesel sump. Michael over there at the Beans family went ahead and hooked it up. Beans sump works excellent. I used to have a cheap knockoff Amazon Chinese one on there before. It gave me nothing but issues. It was always leaking. This one, since I put it on, no leaks, no issues. I love it. Keep pushing back. We got the wheels. We already talked about the wheels. We got, finally, I was able to get a hold of some third gen wheel liners. I know you guys are like, well, why? Why you mentioning that, is that that comes with a truck and no it does not these are super hard to come by but i finally was able to get some so i was pumped for it we'll come underneath here first and then go up so back here once again we got the fox 2.0 shocks uh mono reservoirs nothing crazy but they work great no issues out of them we have a custom well it's a five inch straight pipe flow pro exhaust with a jsc custom eight inch octagon tip that i painted myself i like the tip it's real nice on the back, we also have a PPE rear diff cover that works excellent. Uh, one thing I love about these PPE covers is they come with those studs. So you get those three studs, and what that does is it helps with the installation so you're not fiddling trying to get all the holes lined up, which is pretty cool. Underneath here, 
got an eBay train horn setup that actually is respectably loud for being an eBay uh, train horn system. My homeboy back home in Florida, my brother Ben, went ahead and sent this out to me. Thank you, Ben. I appreciate it, man. But uh, I actually really like it a lot. A lot. What else we got? Oh, actually, that's it back there. So in the back tailgate, we got custom. I personally custom color match or paint it, custom paint it, uh, tail lights. These are eBay tail lights, straight up. These are 100% eBay tail lights. I took them apart, custom painted them. No issues out of them. Works excellent. Um, it's just really good. No condensation, no water inside of them. No craziness going on with it. Uh, for the back, I went ahead and took the bumper off and paint color matched the bumper white. It used to be just a chrome bumper. Got that color match, and then I also installed a brand new uh, the plastic trim around it. Over here, we also have a backup camera, for just a basic Amazon backup camera for my radio. Also, we got LED uh, LED license plate uh, lights for the lights for hitch. Just a basic, it's just a basic 12 inch drop hitch. I used to have a BMW one, but it's too short for the truck now. So I went online and bought this guy. Works excellent, no issues out of it. For bed cover, actually I probably should have showed y'all that earlier. <laughs> For bed cover, we are rocking a Paragon truck bed cover. Uh, this is an extremely popular video on my truck because a lot of people were interested in this bed cover because they've, they've never seen something like this. So essentially, this bed cover is like an accordion where it collapses and it goes all the way up and it takes probably about 30 seconds to remove it completely out the truck if you want it to full access. Uh, very, very slim. Very nice profile, it's not all bulky and crazy. It is not waterproof, but they, they might as well say it because this thing does a damn good job at not letting water into your bed. So if you're like me where you hunt or you keep certain things back there like rifles and stuff, guns, you don't want it getting wet, this is actually a good job, okay? Really good stuff. Coming over here, everything else over here is the same. Now we're gonna go ahead and dive into the meat and potatoes with the engine which is what a lot of people like to hear about and see about. So I gotta get my ladder and then get set up and then we're gonna rock. All right, so starting on the engine bay, first thing we got coming up is a Mishimoto, Mishimoto, Mishimoto intercooler. Uh, this is the upgraded one with the, I believe three inch banks with three, three and a half inch uh, inlets. And it also comes with three and a half inch boost tubes, okay? So on this side over here, we're rocking three and a half inch uh, boost tubes and then Originally on this side, we had three and a half inch, but I got switched up when we did a uh, turbo stuff. So we come up and obviously first thing on this side is going to be the compound turbo setup under over. We're rocking a Smedden diesel compound turbo setup from MDC diesel. It is a three S366 on top with a S480 underneath billet wheels. Uh, I did not opt in for the 360 degree thrust bearing, so it has a standard 270 degree thrust bearing, but it works phenomenal. Trust me, take my word for it. Uh, this is definitely one of the bigger uh, engine mods on the channel up to, to date, so it's pretty awesome. Uh, on the turbo, we also have a turbo blanket. It's just a basic Amazon turbo blanket. I think I paid like 25, 30 bucks for it, but it works excellent. Uh, just did brand new Walmart batteries, and if you haven't known, don't sleep on Walmart batteries. They're actually really good, really good. Uh, brand new alternator. Uh, we also got a Gates Greenback uh, Serpentine Belt. Works excellent. Got rid of the coming squeak. Over here, we have the uh, Beans Diesel Billet Valve Cover with the custom everything diesel engraved into it. Super, super slick and clean. I apologize for not being being able to get all the stuff cleaned up for you guys, but the, truck is, the truck's hot right now, so I, it wouldn't work out right. We also got a Beans Diesel uh, oil billet oil cap cover, which is pretty sick. I think it looks awesome in the engine bay. Uh, definitely is good. For the valve cover, all, that elbow right there, that is just the breather tube. It goes overboard, so that way it can like pretty much let the crank gases uh, vent out. You know what I'm saying? So we got that. We also have a second gen style manifold, T4. Also by Smed and Diesel, forgot to mention that. With the stainless steel studs. Uh, excellent, excellent quality stuff. What else we got over here? Actually, on this side, that's really it. But then we come back over here, our newest member of the family is a PPE dual fueler CP3 setup. Uh, this is very, very clean install, but also serves a valuable purpose in, in regards to having reliable, consistent fuel pressure going to your rail. 
rear fuel rail so uh, definitely is an awesome setup we have a custom billet wheel pulley on it not wheel but custom billet pulley uh, you can't really see all of it but it, it looks good trust me it looks good uh, we got that we got a behind there we have a generic eBay pusher style I say that because it's not a legitimate pusher intake but it's just a knockoff version but it's an eBay version of the pusher intake works really good have no issues with it something else we have that you cannot see at all <laughs> but we do have a grid heater delete I mean there's I don't even know where I can show you guys that because it's the way this setup is but we got a grid heater delete on in there and on the fuel rail we also have a fuel rail plug or some people call it race valve or some people call it a fuel rail plug so <clears throat> We also have that down there. Uh, other than that, in the engine bay, I'm trying to think, really, that's it for the most part, because we still got stock injectors, stock uh, valve springs, stock push rods. Uh, yeah, honestly, yeah, that's, that's a lot in the engine bay, you guys. So, intercooler, fuel setup, air, air setup, turbo setup. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm missing something in the engine bay, but I guess I'm not. But yeah, one thing I forgot to mention down here, we have the PBE deep dish trans pan as you can see very very clean works excellent I've noticed probably about an average I'd say about five to ten degree drop in trans temp nothing drastic but it does serve its purpose and it also increases uh, oil or fluid capacity which is good for maintaining lower temps so that's what we got going on on the outside now I'm gonna take you guys inside and I'm gonna show you guys everything that I've done inside the truck so just when I spoke too soon, we have the Fortin Evo Remote Start. Forgot about this. This is a big mod. Hold that button, flashes, and you just pretty much let it do its thing. Has a delayed start in it for the fuel pump. So first thing on the inside you guys is going to be the glow shift gauges. So over here we have, yeah, yeah it kind of helps. Over here we have glow shift gauges. Uh, up top we're gonna have exhaust temp. In the middle we're gonna have boost. And then down at the end we're going to have fuel pressure. We also have a Edge CTS-3 monitor. The truck's not running right now, that's why it's not on. We have an Edge CTS-3 monitor to monitor all of our parameters so that way we can make sure everything's doing good. Come over here in the center, we have a Kenwood. What, mo what model is this? It's a DMX-77065. Excellent radio. I'm talking everything I need. It has Apple CarPlay, uh, Android Auto, Bluetooth, radio telephone it doesn't it's a series it does have the serious radio option um this radio really strives i mean it has all of it man it has everything where this radio strives at is when you do apple carplay or android auto that makes a world difference in this radio especially if you don't have a radio like that when you come to this radio it's night and day man and plus i mean the screen is beautiful on this thing you know so we got that uh over here Excuse the mess, but over here we have a third gen business console set up. Uh, this is not factory in this truck. I actually was able to get this and acquired in the trade deal, and I was able to get this, replace it with this. Oh my goodness, I love this thing so much. I hold all my junk in here. Uh, it's dirty, so I'm not gonna show you guys everything, but this is the business console for the third gen style setup. Uh, other than that, on the inside for tint, I don't know if you guys could notice earlier, but the windshield is tinted at about 35% with a 5% brow up top, the strip. Side mirrors are tinted to 15%. The only window that is not tinted is the back glass, which is just a factory tint, but it's nice because it looks like it's bright, but it, it, it's still tinted. 
it's nice because uh, at night when it's dark out, when you want to back up, you, I can look back and through those windows and I can still see, you know, where I'm backing up into versus if it was blacked out, I can't see nothing, you know what I'm saying? So other than that for the interior, not, nothing else crazy. Uh, there's not a whole lot of interior mods I've done to this truck, very basic stuff. Uh, one thing I did forget to do was uh, talk about tuning. So for tuning, we have uh, EFI Live with a CSP5 switch tuning from uh, CTT Tuning excellent excellent uh tuning have no issues with it uh we also have a second tuner in the hns mini max which is providing my trans tuning for me um that's how i was able to raise my line pressure Ugh. that's how i was able to raise my line pressure on my 68 rfe transmission to 200 psi to help with that uh clutch pack engagement so we have that uh on there I'm trying to see but yeah this is it, man. This is the pig. This is the cum daddy, man. We got, this is a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Uh, and this is all things I've done over a three-year span. Um, and, you know, I'm not done with it. But at the same time, it's a lot of stuff, you know. And there is some things on here that were on here that I don't have on here no more that I took off. Uh, you guys that have been following the channel for a long time, you guys know, man, I be doing all sorts of craziness. So, we did a lot of stuff, man. A lot of stuff. But, oh, yeah. This is it. All right, you guys, so it felt, to me, it felt like I was going on forever, but this is finally it, this is it. Uh, this is everything that I can think of on my truck that is done. Some of you guys are loyal fans in terms of, you guys know probably more what I did in my truck than myself. So if there's something I did miss or didn't talk about, comment down below, because I'd be curious to like know what I missed. Um, on top of that, also, if there's anything I talked about that I mentioned that I have done to the truck that you might want me to elaborate more in terms of in a video, like, you know, let's say you want me to talk more about the suspension setup, stuff like that, by all means, comment down below. I read all the comments, so I would be more than willing to do something like that within, if it's a, reason, if it's a reasonable uh, request, obviously, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but yes, you guys, this is it. Came, it's, she's come a long way. For, since when the channel first started, this came a long way. Uh, and we're still not done yet. We're still not done yet. So absolutely. It's good. It's a good video I feel like so once again you guys Thank you so much for checking out the channel if you enjoyed this video smash the thumbs up if you made it to the end Make sure you subscribe with the bell notification tap and then, until next time you guys next video is gonna be probably us uh, Swapping out the steering stabilizer getting that all shined up and fixing straight not being crooked no more So I'm looking forward to that um, Other than that though you guys thank you again and until next time you guys take care be easy peace out stay safe all the good stuff, and I'll see you guys soon.